guys, so today's video is going to be kind of tutorials, but kind of more so ideas on ways to use a mattifying top coat to create really cool looks on your nails. So I'm going to show you my three favorite ways that I like to use um, a matte top coat to create cool looks and stuff because there's just so many other things you can do with it that rather than just putting it like on a solid color. So that is what today's video is going to be. And also I wanted to let you guys know this is going to be a collab video. So I am collabing with my gorgeous friend Amanda. We actually met each other last year at BeautyCon. She is just drop dead gorgeous. The theme of this collab is matte. So I'm doing matte nails and she's doing a beautiful matte makeup tutorial with a pop of color. I will have Amanda's channel link down below and her video link down below. So definitely make sure to check it out and subscribe. She is just beautiful. She edits her videos amazingly and I know you guys are going to like her channel. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Also stay tuned towards the end because we actually have like a little surprise giveaway for you guys. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed the video. By the way, the matte top coat that I'm going to be using in all of my tutorials is the Essie Matte About You Top Coat. This is my favorite mattifying top coat that I've used and I've used a ton of different brands and this one is my favorite. I will put down below the link where you can purchase this because for some reason this is hard to find in stores um, and it's actually cheaper online. So I'll put a link down below. Um, but I just want to let you guys know this is the top coat that I'm using for all of the looks today. So tutorial number one is going to be a very easy way to create a really cool 3D effect on your nails. I've already applied it to my pointer and middle finger so now I'm just going to apply it to my ring finger so you can kind of see the difference. So I just applied it now we're just going to let it um, wait to get matte. It happens pretty much instantly. And once that is dried, we're just going to go in with a dotting tool. I will link down below to where I purchased my dotting tools. And you want to use that same exact color. Whatever color you used as your base, you want to pick up that same color on a dotting tool. Just going to put some polka dots on your nails. And because this is not mattified, it's still going to be shiny, you get a super cool 3D effect on your nails once this is all done. And if you're not a fan of polka dots, you could always do stripes with a nail striper or a nail art brush. As long as you're using the same exact color, no matter what pattern you're doing, you're gonna get a super cool 3D effect to your nails. And I've seen some nail stickers, some nail art decals that are pretty much identical to this, but I'd much rather do it myself than pay money for some nail stickers when it's so easy to do. Here is the finished manicure. So as you can see, it's a super cool effect. I think this is a super cool way to use a mattifying top coat. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and want to try this idea out. So yeah, let's move on to our second idea. Okay, so the second way I love to use a mattifying top coat is to actually put it over glitter. It is just so so cool when you put it over glitter and the best part is you can experiment with different colors of glitter, different shapes, different sizes and when most people think of putting glitter on their nails they want it to be super sparkly and shiny. That's why I think a lot of people don't think to put it over a mattifying top coat over glitter but trust me as you're about to see it is so cool. I'm going to be using this really cool kind of like duochrome glitter so it kind of looks orange and yellow and then in some angles it looks blue. I'm just going to apply the glitter over the nail color. And then just add your top coat. So here is the finished result once our nails have dried. And by the way, sorry about the cut on my thumb. I have no idea how that happened. But the reason I love adding the mattifying top coat so much to glitter is because you can see every single little particle of glitter. Normally when you add like a super shiny top coat, the glare from the top coat can kind of, I guess, mask all of the particles um, into just looking kind of an overall sparkly effect. But when you add this, the matte top coat, you can actually see like every single individual glitter particle and it just looks really really interesting. I love doing this and I hope that you guys want to try it out. Okay, so the third and final way that I love to um, use a mattifying top coat is to pair it with a very shiny uh, like metallic finish polish. I feel like the metallic really pops off of the matte um, polish and it gives a really cool look and they just go really well together. I just started with a black base and I already put on my matte top coat. Then I'm going to go in with a nice chrome or metallic polish. I'm going to use this to create like a pointed French manicure on my nail, but if you don't want to do that, you could do stripes, polka dots, really any design that you want to. As long as you are using 
try to flip my nail for this one. As long as you are using a chrome or metallic polish contrasted against the matte polish, you're going to have a really cool look to your nail. Here is the finished manicure. As you guys saw, it took like two seconds. You just put on your matte top coat over any color you want to. Then using a chrome or metallic polish, you can add whatever design you choose to. It just looks really, really awesome on your nails. I love the touch of metallic against the matte finish. It just pops against each other and it's one of my absolute favorite ways to use a matte top coat. So I hope that you enjoyed all three of these um, different ideas and you want to try one of them out. But now on to the giveaway. We are going to be giving away $25 gift card to Sephora each. So it's going to be $50 gift card to Sephora and all you have to do is be subscribed to both of our channels. I'll have all of the rules down below so make sure to hit expand more. Um, and I'll have all the rules, the end date, how you enter, all of that written down below. If you enjoyed the video and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. By the way, I guess I should just say it now, I'm going to try and do a favorites video this month because I've missed like the last month um, or so of doing favorites video and my everyday makeup routine is going to be up very soon because you guys request that a lot. So I'm going to show you, you know, from start to finish my entire makeup routine. So Stay tuned for that. Uh, but yeah, I hope that you enjoyed the video, like I said a minute ago. And thank you for watching and subscribing. Bye, guys.